A cooperativa significa para nós um livramento do atravessador, de insegurança alimentar. Significa a busca do bem viver. Significa distribuição equitativa daquilo que você acumulou durante um ano, impedindo de que esse sobra vá acumular na mão de um só atravessador. Cooperativa significa busca de mercado. A cooperativa também significa a luta das mulheres pela produção. Family farmers are the backbone of agriculture worldwide, not only in poor countries, but also in rich countries. Family farmers produce 80% of what we eat every day, and yet they face a big challenge as they are among the poorest of the world. Collective action produces a solution for each and every one of family farmers' problems. Cooperatives are fundamental for the future of agriculture. Agriculture cooperatives as an investor is a major actor in terms of steering food systems towards being more sustainable, more resilient. The decade of family farming works directly with cooperatives, works directly with producers organizations around the world. Through them we are ensuring that uh, that potential for increasing sustainably the production of food, which is needed now more than ever in our food system, can be accomplished. Cooperatives have the same characteristics all over the world. They are enterprises and associations at the same time. They respond to the needs, the collective needs of the people, and they are democratically managed and owned by the same people. We estimate there are three million cooperatives, one billion people being members of these cooperatives, and about 280 million people working in or within the framework of cooperatives. That represents about 10% of, of the people working in the world. Most uh, cooperatives and most people involved in cooperatives are in food chains. They are either producers, processors and consumers in those food chains. And we also have, in a number of cases, intermediary cooperatives that uh, make a link between the producer cooperatives on the one hand and the consumer cooperatives in the consuming country on the other. It is very important to promote the importance of cooperatives in the value chains because they bring a series of advantages. First of all, the sustainability of the chains because we see a tendency towards more healthy food on the one hand uh, being produced by the producing cooperatives and on the other hand we see also a tendency towards having less waste on the consumer side. The second one is that we see there is more uh, value for the producer who will get more benefit for his or her foodstuff, but also for the community around those producers because also the cooperative will tend to generate infrastructure in the community surrounding the producer cooperative. The family farming cooperatives, they play three specific roles that are very important for sustainability and inclusivity. Uh, the first one has to do with enabling family farmers access to services. Uh, they are the ones that sometimes provide direct services of extension, access to technology, access to market information, but they also do engage with other service providers to, to ensure that family farmers have access to this fundamental element of production. Secondly, they do have the possibility of uh, collective economic operations. That means that they can do from bulk purchases uh, to processing of the produce of all family farms that are part of that cooperative, can also enable a relation with finance institutions, uh, particularly microfinance institutions, finance cooperatives or banks uh, to ensure the access to finance. Uh, they do a lot into branding, packaging, marketing, so that collective economic operation is fundamental uh, for equitable uh, and, and, and inclusive development. Finally, they also represent their constituency. Those family farming cooperatives have the ability to engage with other stakeholders, uh, to negotiate, to bring their proposals and to influence decision making. 
The most important thing from my perspective is that they not only do all of that, but they do that in a way that is transformative. Because being a cooperative, they have a different model of distributing the benefits of the operation, which is a lot more equitable. One of the main flaws of the world food system is around inequality. And one of the ways effective ways, sustainable ways of addressing inequality is through very strong cooperatives among other kinds of organizations. In order for cooperatives to be able to address inequalities, they have to also adopt equal approaches within the same cooperative in their own governance process. We have seen that when women are empowered to take leadership roles in cooperatives or leadership roles within their communities, that possibility of reducing gender inequality is going to have a beneficial effect for the whole society. One of the fundamental uh, challenges that we have to face uh, is how to deeply include youth on all work that we do uh, on family farming. Cooperatives can be uh, an opportunity for that. Uh, it's absolutely important. Uh, the youth access uh, to services, to technology, to market information, to training. It's important to bring youth from the beginning on the leadership position so we can also make sure that the cooperatives will respond to the needs of youth. We really need to invest in family farmers. We really need to listen to them. We really need to make their organizations partners. And we need to ensure that their voice is heard throughout any policy decision that is going to affect them and therefore that is going to affect the whole society and make a better world for everybody.